Now we are pleased to call for Dr. Mohsen Abdul Mohsen to tell us about the rectal operative bed rule of bed city. Professors and colleagues, I have the honor to introduce to you my presentation about rectal operative bed changes BCT can do. Uh, first, we have different surgical approaches in the management of advanced or local uh, in rectal cancer, including anterior uh, resection, uh, abdominal vernal resection, as well as uh, uh, intersphincteric abdominal vernal resection, trying to preserve the sphincteric mechanism or the most aggressive extra abdominal perineal resection. Uh, and in this paper published in the graphics, they warning us uh, of a normal postoperative anatomy that can occur after these invasive techniques. Of these postoperative, normal postoperative findings, uh, minimal midline corrections, a small amount of soft tissue in the bicircular space, anastomotic site mirror sickening from the postoperative edema and later on postoperative fibrosis, uh, short ear collision of lymph nodes, uh, larger than usual pre-sacral space, and uh, minimal uh, anterior dispersed rectum. Uh, for example, this uh, is a normal post-operative findings of pre-sacral soft tissue density to infection, post-operative. Uh, again, pre-sacral uh, soft tissue density. Anastomotic sites, uh, mural sickening post-operative, and uh, pre soft tissue density and anastomotic sites sickening. And there is a difficulty in distinction in between the normal postoperative findings as we uh, 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 in differentiation between it and the tumor uh, residual or recurrent neoplastic activity. And there is uh, uh, up to two years, uh, or we may persist for no definite time, these postoperative changes. So there is a difficulty in distinction between these postoperative changes and uh, residual recurrent neoplastic activity. The difficult question to be or not to be uh, asked by habits. Sometimes in day to day practice, we ask the same question neoplastic process or post management changes? That is the question. Uh, for the basics of bit CT, um, we uh, inject a radioactive agent that can accumulate inside the malignant cells, and we can measure this accumulation to help us to differentiate between benign and malignant condition. And there are two main methods of assessment, visual assessment method. It is easy to say in this patient with uh, post-operative changes that this focus shows uptake more than the surrounding uh, uh, background. Uh, the other method is semi-quantitative method. We calculate the standard uptake value and this cutoff point of about three. What is above three is towards this uh, uh, malignancy and what is below uh, three is towards this benign. Now to case presentation. 45 years old, uh, uh, male patient with this to have cancer rectum, presented with pre-sacral soft tissue density merging with the anastomotic uh, uh, sites. In the fused bit CT image, there is a focal uptake here of, of FDG, and the SUV max is 6.6, .6, reflecting residual or recurrent neoplastic activity. Case number two. 50 years old, male patient with history of rectal cancer managed by Hartman procedure. In the, uh, bit, uh, in the CT image, these anastomotic sites thickening in the Hartman pouch. In the uh, pit image, there is a U-shaped uptake here. In the fused image, we have this uh, U-shaped uptake confirmed by in the fused bit CT image. And the SUV max is 6, reflecting possible 
uh, uh, neoplastic recurrence in the Hartman pouch. Case number three. Six months follow up after anterior resection operation in rectal adenocarcinoma. In the CT image, close to the anastomotic side, there is a rectal nodularity, soft tissue density, nodule. In the fused with CT image, there is avid uptake by the visual assessment methods. And the SUV measured is 10, reflecting neoplastic uh, region close to the anastomotic sites. Case number four, 52 years old female patient with history of mid cell director cancer. Pre-circular soft tissue density could be fibrosis or could be residual neoplastic activity. In the fused bit CT image, there is no uptake by the visual assessment methods. And the SUV measured is, uh, SUV max is two, reflecting post-operative fibrosis. Case number five, 42 years, old, 42 years old male patient with history of rectal cancer managed by anterior resection. Pre-secular soft tissue density merging with the anastomotic sites. In the fused bit CT image, there is a focal uptake, pre-secular uptake, and the SUV max is 7.7, uh, .7, reflecting residual recurrent neoplastic process. So in conclusions, the morphological information from CT alone does not permit differentiation between post surgical changes and neoplastic activity. Post surgical and post radiation therapy changes in the small pelvis are changing for morphological imaging in patients with recurrent rectal cancer since the tumor recurrence cannot be differentiated from benign fibrous tissue. BCT plays a definite role in detecting residual or recurrent neoplastic disease and distinguishing it from post operative fibrosis. BCT scanning should be delayed uh, for about eight weeks to 12 weeks, both management, both radiation, and both operative, to avoid the possible false positive results that can occur, both radiation and both uh, operative. And this is a key fact in differentiation between uh, uh, the true positive and the false positive data obtained from BCT. So we should postpone the examination to, uh, from eight to 12 weeks, both radiation or both operative. And here is our published uh, article regarding the, this rectal post operative exchanges. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Masson, for this nice presentation.